Paul Fisher created the space pen and now his son and grandson are building upon that invention. So on this Father's Day, they explain how the space race launched Paul Fisher on a race of his own to create the perfect pen. My father started the company the same year I was born. It started with a complex problem with one of the most basic writing tools. It leaked out of the front, leaked out of the back, the ink dried up, and they were just really messy. Paul Fisher spent his own money and did thousands of experiments. We had a breakthrough. To create the Fisher Space Pen. Eventually he started becoming a believer that it could be perfected. And he spent um, most of his life trying to make a, a better writing instrument. That writing instrument proved to work even in the harshest conditions, anything an astronaut might face. Most pens operate in a gravity environment, and so they rely on gravity to help pull the ink towards the point. Paul's pen was different, and in the mid-1960s, it caught the attention of NASA. When they call him, he says, where have you been? I've been looking for you. His pens went into space first on Apollo 7, then Apollo 11, as part of the first moon landing in 1969. We have a nice letter from Neil Armstrong approving the second version of that pen. Those famous space pens continue to be made at a factory in Boulder City. My father moved the company here in 1976. This machine makes 16,000 refills a day. The factory employs more than 50 people, most of whom live in Boulder City and have worked here for decades. It's a good family town. We just like it. Fisher Space Pen is now run by Paul's son, Carrie Fisher. I have a hard time talking about my dad. I still get choked up. Paul died in 2006, but Kerry is making sure his dad's dream continues. He went through many tough times because he was kind of a big dreamer and he would have big plans and it didn't always pan out. But he always came back down to earth when he had to. And from grandfather to father to son, the Fisher Space Pen is a family business. As a child, I didn't realize the magnitude of his invention. Matt Fisher grew up in the factory. Screwing pens together. He's now the vice president of sales and marketing. My dream as a child is, has come true to work alongside my father and continue my grandfather's legacy. While the Fisher family keeps their eyes on space, they're staying grounded in Paul's vision and values. I really love you. And I appreciate you. The honor's all mine. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Pop. And the governor's economic development office just awarded Fisher Space Pen a grant for small businesses. The company will use the money to expand internationally. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.